welcome back to my channel. So today, a super, super, super exciting video, the launch of Aphrodite, my second fragrance. I am gonna take you through the whole concept, the fragrance, what it smells like, everything. I've been so excited to do this video and I can't wait to take you through the world of Soak London Aphrodite. If you're new here, you might not know that I started my fragrance range at Christmas 2022 with Empress. We did the Kickstarter campaign. A thank you to everyone that supported me to do that. I quit my job and put all my life savings plus lots of loans into Empress and that launched in December. And that one is very much a strong, like boss girl fragrance. I know quite a few guys have been loving it as well. For me it has evening, maybe winter vibes. So for my second fragrance I really wanted to create something a bit more tropical, summer, daytime. And pink is obviously the colour of the year with the Barbie movie and everything. And so my Aphrodite, my second fragrance, is all about pink tropical vibes. If you've been here a while you might have heard me talk about Coconut Fizz from Guerlain. This fragrance came out a few years ago and then was discontinued quite quickly and I loved this fragrance. It really just took me away to like a tropical paradise and I was so gutted when it was discontinued. So what I wanted to do with Aphrodite is create a alternative to that, something I could use instead. Unlike most designer brands, mainstream brands, everything I make is vegan and cruelty free, certified by PETA. Um, so that was the first really important uh, requirement for Aphrodite. And I think for sure, if you like coconut fizz, if you like bronze gold, Goddess, I think you're gonna like this. So when you spray this, the first thing you get is the top note, which is a super fresh oh, mango. So you know when you buy a mango and you just cut it open and you get this fresh smell of like this really juicy, watery mango smell. Now mango is actually quite a difficult fragrance ingredient to get right. It's quite a light, delicate note and in some perfumes it's there but it's quite faint. So what I've done here is I've really loaded this up with mango. The perfume concentration in this is 30%. So it's 30% perfume oil. Most perfumes are gonna be like 20, maybe 15. So this is really, really concentrated and that really makes the mango stand out and last. Um, for example, Paco Rabanne Fame, the one that looks like a robot, has a mango top note, but it, it lasts like maybe five, 10 seconds and then you get all these other notes that are in there. Whereas this, the mango stays through and I've seen some of your reviews already and I know that you guys are getting that mango vibe as well but it's not sickly sweet and it's not a sugary mango it's that fresh fruity tropical mango so the next note that you get is um what i wanted to recreate is if you live in a like kind of cold climate like me in England. When you go on holiday, some of my first memories of going on holiday to somewhere tropical, it probably was Florida, going to Disneyland as a child. I always distinctly remember like stepping off the plane or, or stepping out of the airport and you're hit with the heat, but you're also hit with this smell of like lush vegetation, the palm trees, all the tropical plants that grow in that climate that we don't have here in England and you never get that smell here in England. And that's what I wanted to create. So the second note is like a palm leaf and it's that tropical holiday, warm, very fresh green palm leaf. This isn't like a green perfume per se. It's not got you know oat moss or anything like that in, but it really works with the mango, I think, to take you to that exotic location. It really brings that that memory to me. I, that's why I love fragrance, the power to like bring back a memory. And when I smell this, I'm like stepping off that plane into Florida. There are lots of fresh aquatic notes running through here. So that sort of tropical climate where there's, I guess there's humidity. So you can kind of smell the water in the air, see like fresh, you know, being around a watery environment sort of runs through here. And the next main note is low Lotus. So I really love Lotus in Bulgari Omnia range. Their crystalline one has Lotus in and I've always really liked that. Lotus, I remember being on holiday in Costa Rica and we were on a little boat 
going through sort of mangroves and I think there were flamingos or was that Panama? We went through this kind of lotus area where there was all these beautiful like lotuses growing around the water and I just thought it was so gorgeous. And what I really like about lotus flower is that it's like an aquatic scent. It's not really a flowery scent. It's not like rose or jasmine or anything like that. It's just very fresh, thirst quenching. And that's in here and it mixes really well with that palm leaves to give that sort of vegetation vibe. Again, but the mango is still very much there. And then the final main note is is a coconut. Now, the coconut is quite vanilla-y, quite sweet. That's not what I wanted to create here. I didn't want to create something that smells like a sun lotion. The coconut here is very fresh. So it's again, it's like you've just cut open a coconut or you're drinking coconut and you've got the coconut milk, the wateriness, the freshness. It's not a deep and it's cer there's certainly no vanilla or anything like that in here. So I guess it's kind of like you've got mango juice, coconut, I sat drinking that next to a palm tree and lotus, you know, it's really, really refreshing. And they combine so well. So there, for me, now that this is settled, there isn't really one note that's standing out over the others. It's really combining well. So we worked really hard on this. My perfumer for this is Ruth Mastenbrook. She's a trained chemist. She went to Oxford. She's worked with Jo Malone, loads of big brands. She worked at Givadon and past year at the Fragrance Foundation Awards where I was nominated for Best Newcomer. That was amazing. And um, she actually won Best Scent in their um, Blind Judges Testing Award, which was amazing. Uh, lots of women involved in this brand. And if you have tried my Firefly Beach candle, which is part of the Aphrodite collection, it smells pretty similar to that. And um, that candle again has coconut in. I put a little bit of lime in that, which really makes it fresh, but they're very similar. So if you like one, you'll definitely like the other. My candles are all soy wax. They last really well. And again, I've literally worked out how to make candles with the most concentration of fragrance oil possible that remains like a solid. <laughs> so they're way more concentrated than anything you buy from like normal shops. Even when they're not burning, the smell will like fill a room. Um, I've just been making a bunch of candles. I make them all myself in the kitchen and all hand poured and the whole flat smells amazing. And I, while I'm talking about the candle, there is a deal on my website where the whole range is available. When you get the Aphrodite 50 ml perfume, and the Firefly Beach Candle, you're getting £10 off that bundle. So let's talk about Aphrodite, the name and the concept behind this. So I've always loved the Greek gods. I studied classics a little bit at school and then at university, I actually specialised in ancient Greek philosophy. And finally, I'm able to use some of that that I've learned in the real world. I was also a massive fan, or I still am a massive fan of Disney's Hercules movie. And um, shout out if you love Hercules, I love the songs in that. Hercules, who put the glad in gladiator. Hercules, so good. Um, and in that, I remember seeing this Aphrodite character. She's only in it briefly. And she's kind of like a Jessica Rabbit. Like she has this big blonde hair and this extreme curve. And I just remember thinking like, she's like sort of the epitome of like gorgeous beauty. So Aphrodite, if you don't know, Greek goddess of love, romance, beauty, often pictured in paintings and things like with coming out of a shell. And I kind of recreated that with one of my campaigns images with my Aphrodite perfume in a shell like on the beach. The seashell is like the main symbol of Aphrodite. In the Roman gods it, she was called Venus and I remember at university my dissertation was on Plato, an ancient Greek philosopher. In one of his books he talks about Aphrodite and he actually describes that there are two different Aphrodites. Aphrodite Urania which means like heavenly Aphrodite and Aphrodite Pandemos which means Aphrodite of the people. My perfume brand and what I wanted to do is create like really concentrated, good quality perfumes that are vegan and cruelty free, but don't break the bank. I think usually a perfume with 30% concentration like this, you know, niche made in England, you're gonna be paying hundreds for, you know, go to Harrods, go to these niche perfume stores. They're so expensive. And a lot of perfume influencers really talk about these as well. And for me, I just find that really unattainable. Like I don't wanna spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a perfume. I I just don't think most people can afford that or want to do that. I've always liked having a selection of perfumes as well. And I also wanted to, my fragrances to be very simple in the sense that the 
There was none of this like French wording that was confusing, different versions. You end up with an eau de toilette that doesn't last. So I really like that sense of like of the people, but also the heavenly Aphrodite. For me, I use fragrance to sort of create a character in my mind. For example, Empress. Say I was going to like an important meeting or something like that and I wanted to feel like that boss girl energy. In my mind, I would become like Empress Sophie and the scent I was wearing would really help me like become that. You know, the sort of phrase like fake it till you become it. Be like, right, you're not normal Sophie, you're like boss girl Empress Sophie and, and I would wear Empress. And then Aphrodite is more like I'm in a romantic mood. Perhaps I feel a bit like summery, tropical. I want to be reminded of being on holiday or just want to feel like fresh and feminine. I'd be like Aphrodite Sophie and the scent then is what you wear and you're smelling it on yourself and it sort of gives you that vibe. So yeah, that really resonated with me. So I had so much fun creating the imagery for this. I got my pink wig on and hope you're loving all the Aphrodite pictures. So this is available in the 50ml Eau de Parfum. This is a thick glass bottle, really good quality with the pearl lid. And this is what the packaging looks like. I've decided this time to not have them shrink wrapped because it's just like unnecessary extra plastic and um, we're all trying to reduce our plastic consumption. So it just felt unnecessary. So it comes in this nice couple box. It's also available in a 15 ml travel spray. That's this pink travel spray, it just twists. And you can reuse this, the container comes out and you can reuse that and fill it with whatever perfume you want. I also have Empress 50 ml travel sprays. These are 29. It's a bundle on my website. So they, you get a discount and it's only 49 for the two. And these are compliant with, you know, taking on airplane, um, etc and yeah you can see they're really good quality they have my logo on and because I'm not in physical retail yet hopefully one day you can order a sample and um, this is what the samples look like they come in these little packages and inside is a 1.5 mil spray and these are five pounds but when you purchase this you'll get an email with a five pound discount code that you can use against the 50 mil or any other 50 mil on my website website. So, so that's a way for you to try it and then you get your money back if you purchase the bottle. I am shipping worldwide the, with the exceptions of Spain and South Africa who both rejected all my orders of Empress and sent them back and charged me a lot of money for that. So the customs people in those countries won't allow my products in. I don't know why, but I can ship pretty much everywhere else. So that's all available on my website. It's free shipping for the UK over 25 pounds and internationally over 150. I am covering customs tax, all taxes, um, FedEx on the strict instructions to bill me for any um, import taxes and things like that. And I know that the international shipping is quite pricey. It actually costs me more than what I'm charging you guys on my website because perfume has alcohol in, it's classed as a hazardous material in the same category as things like nuclear waste and stuff. Um, so it has to go in a very special way, packaged and then on like the airplane, it has to be very differently packaged, whatever. So it's really expensive um, to ship internationally. Um, Royal Mail in the UK won't even allow you to ship internationally. I have to use FedEx. So that is the reason behind the international shipping prices. So yeah, I think I've covered everything there. When you get your Aphrodite's, please do leave a review on my website, on Free Grand to Care, anywhere else. Help spread the word. And if you do want to post on social media, please tag me because I'll be reposting your pictures, videos, whatever. So do tag me so I can share them and see them and get your reactions. So super excited to hear your thoughts. And thank you so much for everyone who pre-ordered and for all your Aphrodite support I really appreciate it but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video bye